the story behind each photos, the people in the photos, actually it makes me very excited about the work I'm doing because I keep learning. I learn from their story. I learn their personality and I learn how people live their life and how they handle the difficult situations. Tell brought us these photographs and this is good stuff. These really are, are we're a community-oriented museum, we're about local history, and local history does come up to the present. My name is Tao Guan, a senior staff engineer with Nutanix for the past seven years, and I work in a special team called Dev Extension, and which bridges engineering team and the first line support. We are the front line of firefighters and uh, you know, dealing with all the custom issues. In this uh, unique position, I get more chance to interact. Besides, you know, technical aspect of the problem is a lot about the communication. How you convince, how you, you know, comfort the customer. As a photographer, we probably do the same thing. You need to gain the trust from the subject you're taking photos of. Just like you're winning the heart and the gaining the trust from our customer and the building the long term relationships. I started to uh, shoot events for Nutanix about five years ago. The, all those events, you know, it's really helped me to connect with the people in a different department within a company. So I think for me, I started with uh, some film photography just for the family. And then I turned, changed to a digital for the landscape and all the stuff. So then eventually I turned back to the, you know, the film. First is curiosity. The other thing is I want to actually slow myself down. I want to think more and click less. I want to make sure every photo counts. The pleasant is my main subject, I mean scene. So I basically have a clarity what I'm trying to do. The difficult part is how you gain trust in five minutes. Most time, uh, people are very willing to tell their part of the story, especially their experience in this town. Because every time the subject is about Pleasanton and how great the city is, people start to talk. So I took this photo, you know, during a just normal shooting, and I said, what if, you know, there's a couple look at each other and show affection? And right after I, I, I took the photos, the man came to me and asked me some ambiguous questions, say, where you come from? Are you married? And from some questions I couldn't even easily answer. Somebody told me, and, uh, and Paul actually had a dementia. I scanned the film, when saw these photos, something really, really special just struck me. Nobody can tell whether this Paul is a suffering, he's a, he's a patient. The all I can feel is the love and the responsibility, affection towards each other. That is the most you know, meaningful photo I ever took. Because my mom also have a suffering dementia and I know how hard the relatives and the family to the patient. The one thing I really, you know, uh, appreciate from, you know, this uh, uh, journey is being, you know, have a strong feeling of being part of the community. This photo show does not belong to Tao. It belongs to Pleasanton.